Hello, Touch Day friends. This is Community Ambassador Tayan Marsink, and I'm going to talk to you today about Google Forms. We have had several people ask the question about how can I collect guest information before arrival and have that connected to my Touch Day digital guidebook. So this is the answer to that question. Uh, type of software that is a form and collects information, we're going to talk about Google Forms today. Google Forms is free. It's available to anyone. There's other programs, for instance, SurveyMonkey or Typeform. Um, all of those will work as well to collect information. So that's the main thing is to collect data. Now each of the programs does have its limitations as far as the free part, the part that you pay a sub subscription for, but today we're going to talk about Google Forms. So it's completely free and it's available to everyone. All you got to do is log into your Google account. And now wherever, whenever you're logged into Google, you usually have this little uh, nine square thing and it's your Google Apps. So all the Google tools show up here and Forms is down here and it's purple. So just click on the Forms and it takes you to Google Forms right where we just were. Now I've created a guest registration form already. I'm not going to go through the steps on creating it. It's pretty simple. You can use one of Google's templates. You can make it your own. I added this photo and I changed the colors. Google also has an extensive help knowledge base where if you have a question, you can do that. But it's pretty intuitive. I just want to show you how I that what I created just to kind of give you some inspiration of what you can do, and then show you how to connect it to your Touch Day book. So here is my guest registration form. And anywhere you see the red asterisk, that is the required section before they can move on, or the required, uh, that you need a required response. And I've got four sections. So this is the first section. And at the bottom of it, I did type this so that you all could see it. Now Google Forms does have a part where you can have someone upload a file. I did not put it on here because I wanted everyone to be able to see this Google form without having to log into Google. When you have the file upload on there, the user is required to log into Google so it's connected to their Google account. So if you need that passport or if you need a photo of a driver's license ID, you can use Google. It is free. It just has that one extra step of friction that your guest must be logged into Google with their Google account to be able to access the form and upload the file to you. So there's the caveat on that. And you can look at the rest of the form um, once you click on the um, example link and you can take a look at more of it. So what I wanna show you is how to put it in your touch day book. So when I click the send button, and I'm gonna click the link. And I've got this nice, really crazy long link. Well, we're gonna shorten it first, and then we're going to copy it. So we have our link to the form, and I'm gonna to go to my Touch Day dashboard. From here, I go to my content hub, and I need to decide where I'm going to place it. I want to place it under before you leave home. So we're going to add a subcategory. I'm gonna make it my own. And we're going to call this guest registration create. And then after the subcategory, we need to add a topic. So my own topic, and this will be the registration form. And then let's go ahead and reorder it. So the guest registration we're going to put underneath, add this guide to your phone. And actually, let's move, add this guide under guest registration. So guest registration is on the very top. Now, if you have just one guidebook, you don't have the tag option. But if you have two or more guidebooks, whenever you add a new topic, all your tags are grayed out. So you have to remember to turn a tag on so it shows in the books that you want it to show, whether it's all or specific books. Now, let's edit the text and say um, please complete guest registration form 
before arrival. Um, let's see. Information we need includes. Um, let's do choose your door code, your VIP guest list, and vehicle list for security. All right, so remember whenever you want your guests to do something, give them a reason why to do it so they don't just ignore the what you want them to do. So then let's do registration form link. And now we're going to highlight it because we're going to make that into a link. Click the insert link, paste that in there. Target, we're going to change to a new window. That way when a guest clicks on it, it opens in a new window and they don't lose your guidebook. Oh, and then I do want to bullet point those. So there we go. Okay, we're going to hit save. And, oh, let's add a photo. So actions, add a photo video. Let's do this one right here. So it has the blue border around it. That's how I know that that's the one that's chosen. Confirm. It's saved. And now let's take a look at it in the Rockstar Guidebook. So we've refreshed that. We're going to get started. Before you leave home, guest registration. So there's the registration form. Please complete this before arrival. Information we need includes, and then our link. So we click on the link, and here's the form that we just looked at in Google Forms. So your guests can access this, and they can start typing things in. So if you want to do you know, first name, last name, you can do that. And then all of this does go into a spreadsheet so that you can then download that, export it, whatever it is that you need to do. Date of birth, passport number, and again, there's that passport upload. So um, just as for example, kind of give you guys inspiration um, and go through and put in some different things. And next. And then you can see transportation. You can do different um, choices there. Arrival date, arrival time, airline. Do you need airport transfer? Next section asks for the guest list, the vehicle list, and then the fourth and last section talks about um, if they have any dietary restrictions, if you're a bed and breakfast and you're making breakfast, or if there's any special needs or anything like that. So that is how to add a guest registration form link within touch today so that your guests can access that. Forms can also be used for feedback. So if you want to do a survey upon arrival, if you want to put that link in there, if you want to do a survey upon departure, you can do that as well. Um, same process, create a Google form, copy the link, go to your touch today content hub, type it out, insert the link and refresh and you've got it. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to visit us on touchday.com, email support, support at, at touchday.com, and hopefully see you in the Facebook group for the Touchday Rockstars.